ho, ho, ho. Are you ready for the perfect tree? <laughs> oh, Sam is perfect. That's the most beautiful tree. Well, not quite. You mm. should see the one we have for our house. It's outside on the car waiting to be admired. You know, TC, that, uh, that's a pretty good one, but this... I think so. <laughs> okay, yeah, come on, you guys. Now they're both made by God, so they're both perfect, right? Well, you can't argue with the lady or not. <laughs> Wouldn't even try. Well, Sammy, you know where it goes. Mm. That I do. Make way for the perfect oh, tree. Perfect God. tree. Perfect it's tree. Beautiful. Wow. Coming through. Yeah. Where is Eve? I thought she would be here by now. You know, she hasn't called. Maybe she's just tied up with a patient or something. Well, we can't start our traditional tree trimming without Eve. Simone? Um, I haven't heard from her, Daddy. Well, your mom usually calls when she's going to be late. I wonder where she is. You know, I can't believe that Eve is not here yet. Did you try the hospital, Daddy? Sugar Bear, I'll try that. Hey, Jess, what else do we need for the baskets? Oh, I'll show you. Miguel, you give me a hand with this garland? Sure, Chief. Did you see, did you hear from Eve? No. The hospital said that she didn't leave a number where she is. And her cell phone is turned off. Oh, well, you know, that's not like Eve. I bet the battery just died or something. She's probably on her way now. Yeah. I just heard some pretty disturbing news this morning. Oh, yeah? What kind of news? Got a message from Nancy Walters. Hey, the star of the girls' track team. Well, not anymore. She's quitting the track team. Why? Is she moving or something? I don't know. She didn't say. Oh, maybe she's sick. Who's sick? Nancy Walter. She's quitting the track team. Oh, I don't know. She's not sick. She's pregnant. Jessica, you should spread rumors like that. Mom, it's not rumors. Like, she told everyone at school, so... Wow. Well, she didn't tell me. <laughs> but you're an adult, so... Wait, you mean she told all the kids? Mm-hmm. And she's not even embarrassed? Guess not. Don't kids realize that just with one mistake, they could ruin their lives? Well, you know how kids are. They think they're invincible. Yeah, I think I'll get me some of that hot cider. You know, Miguel, a lot of times uh, your peers can pressure you into taking your relationship to another level. I mean, you know, even when you're not ready. Yeah, I've been feeling it now. Yeah. You know, when I used to go out years ago, I uh, tried to get involved with the girl physically, you know, and it never worked out because we weren't ready to give each other the full commitment. I hear you. Same thing happened to me. And you met Eve and I met Grace and everything changed. You know, I knew it was real love. I knew it was going to last forever. As much as I wanted to make love to her, I was willing to wait until after we were married. And you know what? It was worth it. There's nothing more wonderful knowing that you're special to one another. And exclusive. You do know what I'm talking about, don't you, son? Yes, sir. You're saying that if I ever lay a hand on charity before we're married, you'll kill me. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> All right. He got it. <laughs> Fire's getting low. I better bring in some more wood. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. You know, I wonder what happened to Hank. He was supposed to refill the wood bin. He's pretty... He's pretty upset about Sheridan. He still feels responsible for Sheridan's death. <laughs>